I miss my friends and family dearly, and I would say if they could visit here, I would continue staying for a very long time. I absolutely love the work that I get to do here, and as I mentioned, I feel very adapted to life up here. So from my point of view, I would love to continue my mission and, you know, like I've said, to continue contributing to the program and to the research. But I, I do feel like it's been a long time since I've seen my friends and family. Hopefully when that sun goes down, it's a, it's a much different view. So having, uh, having For someone like me that finds it a challenge to not lose my keys even, you know, on the earth, up here I find that it's very easy to lose things. They can float away without you even noticing. So little things like that. I jokingly say, what's one thing I miss about gravity? And I would say it's the ability to put things down because I really miss being able to just set things down on a table and not have them float away. I hope that when I go back to Earth, I don't accidentally drop things, especially when I'm handing them to people, because I'm not used to actually doing that with a gravity vector. Okay, copy. I really actually miss chips and salsa the most. Of course, I miss fresh fruit as well, but um, we have had some of that on our cargo vehicles. In terms of my first activity, hands down, it's going to be going for a swim on the Gulf of Mexico. I do live next to the ocean there, and either a swim or a walk on the beach or going surfing are high on my list. With the assistance of Space Station Commander Oleg Kononenko, Christina Cook of NASA, the first one through the hatch, being greeted by her crewmates aboard the International Space Station.